In this video, we will be studying the gender section of the Punjabi grammatical structures. If you have not already done so, please go back and watch the Punjabi 1 series before watching this one because obviously you need to be very comfortable in that uh, class before tackling this one because this one is significantly more difficult than the aforementioned class. And if, you, and, and, and if you're confused, it's called Punjabi 1 and you can tell from the thumbnails because I go out of my way to, to read really differentiate between the thumbnails because I use different role models at the front uh, at the, uh, on the right side so 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 it should be you should have no problem uh, accessing that on my channel if you do have any questions you can let me know uh, you know via uh, you know comments or, or or you can even email me on the email provided in the about me section all right, so in this video, we will be studying the gender formations. Before I do that, let me teach you what masculine and feminine are called in Punjabi. Masculine, so let me use blue here for masculine. So masculine, masculine is called, masculine is called puling. So I'm going to stop, um, you know, it, from from this video un until the end of our Punjabi 2 course. We're going to really stop, uh, you know, with with me, uh, d d d d you know, telling you each letter because you should be quite comfortable with 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 that from Punjabi 1. If you need more practice, there are books available uh, online and I recommend grade grade one to grade five. Uh, books for you if you still have problems with with understanding the symbols so masculine would be pulling so we have a so 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 we have this pulling all right so so feminine feminine therefore would be something some you know would still have that end root there so ling is still present however we change the put with the istri because istri means woman so we have istri so we have a e here and then we have a ling ling so these are the two words that we need to know. Masculine within the grammatical norms of Punjabi are, is called puling, uh, and, 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 and feminine here is called istriling. All right, so we're going to talk about a different, uh, well, 11 different formations, uh, formations of genders within, uh, you know, the Punjabi grammar. So, so in order to, in order to, in order to do this, we're going to, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement a sort of a chemistry sort of basics uh, or, a, uh, you know, a, a, a chemistry uh, style to, to teach you this. We're going to use the reaction uh, formula uh, or formulae uh, for, for plural here and, and to, to, to really denote the different cases. So, so we have 11 cases. We have 11 cases. And what are these the cases of? These are cases of gender formation. Either we're going from male to, to female or we're going from female to male. So in chemistry, this would be an equilibrium reaction. That's not what I mean here. However, you know, we can go both ways. That's, that's what this means. And that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to abbreviate this to M and I'm going to abbreviate this to F. All right, so let's get started with our first sort of, you know, formation uh, reaction here. So, so we're going to start off with the first one. So the first one takes, takes a word which has a mukta at the end. So it's a word, it's a normal word, which, which has a mukta, mukta. And what it does, so this is male. And what it does, it can, what it can do is it can become female by by instead of having just you know a mukta if we put a bihari so if we have the word and if we have a bihari and now this would become female therefore by that logic if we have a word with a bihari we can make a male by replacing the bihari with the mukta so this can also go the other way all right so let's do some examples of this if i have if if I have sajan, which is sasa, jaja, nana, clearly a word uh, here, which is male, because it look it has a mukta here. This can become, uh, you know, female. If I put instead of having nothing here, if I put a bihari, if I put sasa, jaja, nana, and bihari. All right, now 
by that logic it's also again this is female by this logic by this logic right over here we can go backwards by taking off this this bihari to to make a male as well so it goes both ways let's do one more example if i have kukkar if i have kaka another kaka and then i have ardara then what we can do is we can make this a female by adding look it's a mukta right over there i can just add a bihari and this would become kukkari so we have a kaka with the ankur we have a kaka being repeated ardara and uh, and 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 then bihari this can go backwards so this was male this would be female this can go backwards by the removal of the bihari right over here all right so that's the first case the second case Number two talks about how if we have a word, if if we have a word, and and again I I should have mentioned this. These are general guidelines. These these eleven cases are very general, very general. Uh, you know these are not always followed, not always followed. And I should also write that down. Not always followed. These are just general guidelines that give you. the most basic understanding of this to to really understand these gender formations you you should be doing a lot of reading and you do that by reading books okay so so not always true so these are just general cases that are true some of the times how however you know if 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 we don't study these then you're going to have a hard time understanding or even speaking the most basic uh, versions of these different uh, you know gender uh, you know grammatical entities Okay, let's go back. If if I have a word which again has nothing tapped onto this, so it's a so it's a word with a mukta. What I can do is I can actually add. So if so, I can take my word and add either ni. So so this would be na na and a bihari, or or I can or another reaction that we can see here. is that i can actually add to the word ni so that that would be a, a you know an edited nana so it would be a nana with the bihari ni so this would go from male to female however it can also go backwards so this is true and this is also true let's do some examples of this so let i'm going to do one for the top and one for the bottom if i have sardar sasa rara dada And 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 if I want to, this would be male. If I want to transform this into a female, then all I need to do is I need to tap on that nana with the bihari. So we have sardar, sardar, and then we have ni, sardar ni. So this would be this is a word you can look it up in the dictionary. This would be female, and we can also go backwards by removing this ni. Another example with the second reaction right over here, we have oot. So we have oot. This can become female by just adding on a ernana and a and 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 a bihari here. So if I do this, this has now become, uh, you know, uh, you know, a female. So I'm 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 just covering some of the, uh, you know, st structures here. Again, you can clearly see there is no specific rule here that you follow. That well, hey there, when any time you see a tarta, you you do this. No, that's not how this works because we will see just in just one second here that that doesn't really apply. I'll we're just looking at some specific cases uh, cases, and I am describing some of the reactions that would be seen within these gender transformations. Okay. Let's keep going. If I have a word, a word which which still has no matra at the end, so it's a still a mukta. What I can do, what I can do to transform this word's gender, is I can actually take the word and add a kana. Then I can add a nana with the bihari. So this would be ani. This can also go backwards if you take that material right. this material off then you can go back to the word mukta and it will once again become male let's do some examples of this if i have if i have set so we have a sasa lama and a tata i can make this into a female by putting the sasa a lama a tata then this material at the end just add it on setani this this would be female and this would be male we can also go from the female version of this to back to 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 male by going the other way around just take that off let's do one more if i have nokkar which is a nana kanada here kakarara and 
if I want to make it female, I again follow the same formula here. So nana, kanoda, kakarara, and then ani, nakarani. We can also go back, uh, backwards, as as I said, uh, as we would in normal ca in, in 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 normal uh, equilibrium reactions in, in 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 chemistry. So this is male, and this is female. So. Um, I hope that you're liking that we're also, uh, you know, studying some basic chemistry here. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know where we stopped. We were at three, so let's go to four. Let us go to four. Four, what it does is it takes, uh, you know, your your um, Bihari at the end of the word and it replaces it with Arnana or Ananna. So either you have a word which has a, you know, a Bihari Bihari at the end there, Bihari, then what it does, it takes the word and it replaces that Bihari with a, with a Nana. Or what we can also see is that if a word has a Bihari, it can take that, that Bihari, and it can replace that with a Nana, something like that. And so this would be male, that would be female. We can go the other way around by just, you know, just removing the Nana and the Nana and replacing it with the, with the Bihari. So some examples here. We have we have uh, sati, which which would be male. Sasa with the kanna, atata, and a bihari. What I can do from here, male. What I can do is I can replace that bihari with an uh, with uh, with arana. So so I can write down satan. So we have a sasa tata, and look instead of writing that, I write arana satan. Again, how do I know that it wasn't Nana and it wasn't Nana? Well, that's just experience through reading. So you really need to read a few books to, to, to get that basic vocabulary under your belt. If I have Kedari, which is Kaka with a Sehari, and then we have a Dada and a Kanna and a Rara and a Behari here, I promised to you that I would stop doing this. So, uh, so, so I'll try. And we can make this into a female word by replacing the Bihari with the Nana. So we have a Kedaran. This would be male, this would be female. We can go backwards by just replacing the Nana with the Bihari. The fifth case that we have is, so, so let me write down five here. The fifth uh, case that we have here is uh, taking your your uh, you know if you if your word ends with the iri and a bihari and replacing it with the sehari iri and anana let me write this down so if a word has a you know iri and a bihari at the end what we can do what we can do is we can take that word we can just take that word we can take that material off okay and we can replace that we can replace that with the sehari Iri and Anana to make a female. Okay, so this would be male and this would be female. We can also go the other way around. So it's a both way reaction. So so or transformation. I I I'm thinking of chemistry when I say that. Okay, so so if we have Isai, so Isai. You can clearly see that's available right over here. What, what what I need to do in order to make this female? Well, I just take remove this. So I still write Isa. Then I write in Isa in. And we can also go backwards. So 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 this would be female. Then this would be male. Another example would be if if I uh, took Nai, which would be a barber. We covered this in the vocabulary unit. Take that material off, so it's a na, and and then I take that na in. So again, this is female, this is male, and we can go both ways for these gender uh, transformations. The sixth case is when we have some sort of you know uh, you know a, you know a kana or, or or let me let me first write it down to to make it very clear here so where did we stop we stopped at five so six would be if I have a word and I have a kana at the end a kana what what we can do is we can take that kana and replace it with a nana word and plus a nana something that looks like this However, another version of this would be if if your word ends with 
So if your word ends with a, you know, a bihari, a ada, and a kanna, this material right over here can be replaced with just a word and a nana. Nana. So let me do one of each here. Let me do examples of both of those. So for the for the top one, we have a, you know, let's do sapera. So we have a sapera. We clearly see a kanna right over here. So, oh, oh, and I forgot to do this. This this means that it goes both ways. You can, you can go both ways. That's why I do this. It's not just for aesthetic purposes. So, sapera, and what you do is you remove that, uh, you know, kanna here, and you just write up nana, saperan. Now, this can also be done backwards. So then we would be going from female to male. If I wanted to show you the second example, I could have pahariya. So we have a papa, haha, kanna, rada, behari, ada, kanna. This is the material that I was talking about. You can replace this like this, pahadana, pahadana. And this now would be female. And you can go from female to male by just replacing the nana with, with this material right over here. Okay, let's study the seventh case. The seventh case is probably the easier one. Seventh case where where we see gender transformation. Why why is that green? So so seventh case where we see gender transformation. This would be if I have a word. If I have a word with the kanna, and if I was to take that kanna and replace it with the bihari, then that would become uh, you know female in some cases. Again, all, all of these are cases. They they are by no means rules. I'm not saying that, you know, anytime you have a word and a kanna, you have to do this. It's 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 we see. I'm I'm just showing you that when we have a word with the kanna, we see that if 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 I was to replace the kanna with the nana, then we see a gender transformation. It's not a rule, it's just a case. There's a difference between a case and a rule. So so it's very important you understand that. Okay, so for our example, let me let me write that example. I could have ara. Again, as you can see, ends with a kanna. I can make this into a female by just replacing the kanna with a bihari, ari. And this can go backwards as well. So this would be female and this would be male. Then we could have cha cha. Cha cha. And this could become female by writing cha chi. And it can, so this would be female, this would be male, and we can go from female by, to, to male by replacing the bihari with the kanna here. Okay, let's, let's study uh, the eighth case that we have, the eighth case. The eighth case talks about if you have a word with a, with a, with a mukta, which by mukta I mean there is no extra symbol tapped onto the ending there. You can you can make this into into uh, you know a, you know a female word by adding a ri. So arada with a bihari ri, and you can go the other way around to make a male. Okay, let's do some 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 uh, examples here. If I have if I have sanduk, something like this, this can become clearly a mukta there. This can become a female by putting a rada and a bihari. So we have a sanduk ri, sanduk ri. And it can also go, so this would be female, this would be male. It can go backwards as well by just replacing the rada and the, and the, or not really replacing, just taking off the rada. If I just take this off, that becomes male now. Okay, for my second example, I could have Baal. Baal is Papa with a, with a, with a Kanna and a Lala here. And then if I was to just add on, uh, you know, Ardada and uh, Bihari at the end there, this would become Baalari. And, and if I go the other way around, you know, it becomes male again. So this would be female. This would be male. Okay. The next word or the next, uh, you know, uh, case that I'm going to talk about is not a reaction at all. Uh, the, this case talks about how sometimes when we do gender transformations, we use different words. So if I was to, you know, write this down, then I would say, well, a word can take a completely different word, different word. 
and and I guess this would still be uh, going both ways I guess so this would be male that would be female some examples of this so so it's not just like English you don't just add a uh, you know you don't add or not English I don't think it's in English however in Italian and other Latin uh, based uh, languages or I believe even in Spanish you change your last uh, term to to o and a depending on the female or male however in Punjabi you can even have words that are completely different to show the gender transformation so if I have admi which means men admi if I was to now wanting to make this into a female word I would write arat arat now, audit has nothing to do with admi, and it's not a replacement, so that's why this is a completely different word. Then we could have, uh, you know, pita, so which is father. We have pita, so we have a papa with a sehari, and a tata, and a, a kanna here, pita. Then this, this, the, you know, if we have a father, then mother would be mata, so we have a mama, kanna tata. So so again, nothing to do with each other here, and 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 and, and we can go backwards uh, as well to to go from female to male, and we can do that here as well, female to to male here. Okay, so the tenth case, the second last case that we have is when when the noun is always used as masculine. It does not matter. So so this 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 eleventh case is something that you know if we have a word and maybe this is male then if I want to make a female it's still the same exact word so word remains word and if you want to go from female to male then it's the same uh, word so if you have if if we have maybe star which is Tara Tara is a uh, male then if you want to make a female you still call it Tara and you know th therefore you can go both ways if you want to say, uh, you know, sun, which is Suraj, Suraj would be Sasa and then uh, the Lankar and Harara Jaja. This can become Suraj to become female. It's the same exact thing and it can go both ways. Uh, we can talk about rain. Um, you know, rain would be me. So this would be Mama, Bihari, Bindi, Haha. This can become female by just, you know, by doing nothing it's the same word and you can go backwards as well for this gender uh, transformation um, we could do more and more of these let's do one more where we talk about uh, you know uh, you know yogurt yogurt would be dahi dahi is the da ha ha bihari and bindi this again does not change anything when it goes from gender to gender so this the left is has always been my male and that right has always been my female so 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 i'm not going to write down mf 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 uh, i just assume that you know what i mean okay so so uh, that was supposed to be my 10th case so i don't know why i wrote uh, 11. so for my last and 11th case let me first write 10 here for my 11th case uh, i'll show you how how these words or the, the 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 11th case talks about how some words are always feminine so maybe one thing that i forgot to mention here this word is not really well okay so we can use it in a feminine context however it originates from male and it stays male here what we have is for the 11th case, we have these words which are clearly female and stay female even for male. So if we have a word, it remains the same word. It doesn't change. However, so so for again, it's the same thing and you use it for male to female transformation. However, it originally comes from female. So so it in in you know undercover both of them are still female. And you don't really need to know this or some some textbooks put both of these sections within the same uh, you know the same case. However I really wanted to show you how they're different. If we have Tarti Tarti which which is just you know ground or you could say earth then okay so so that or, okay, so maybe I should write it from the other way around to, to really bring this point home. If I have Tarti, which is a female noun, if I want to convert it to male, then then this, this will still be Tarti. And again, if I want to go back to female, again, nothing changes, Tarti. Okay, now if I, if, if I want to do, uh, you know, uh, Barf, which is snow, then again, originally it comes from female, so we have a Baba, Rara, and a Fafa, 
And if I want to make this into a male, it's still but if. So, so it doesn't really matter. But if. And you can see what, what I mean by, by these arrows. Look at the top arrow. This is coming from, uh, that, uh, from, from this to that. And the top arrow denotes where it originally comes from. This is not from chemistry. This is just from Rancy saying from me. This says, normally this means nothing. However, I'm just imposing this notion of the top arrow you can look at my top arrow this is just for me you can look at my top arrow to see how how you know where this originally comes from so this this these words are all originated within the male realm of Punjabi grammar and all of these names are originated within the female realm of the Punjabi grammatical structure Okay, so so that's all I have for you in this video. In the next video, we will be talking about, uh, you know, uh, singulars, plurals, and basically, you know, uh, changing, alternating quantities of, of different words. So I'll see you there, and I really hope that this video was helpful. If you need more help, you can uh, go back and watch in the previous video. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.